bitch, I am a beast off the leash. Blood up in my teeth. Do this in my sleep. What is up, YouTube? All right, today we're talking about the dumbbell flies in another episode of why you're doing it wrong. All right, so a couple things you do not want to do on this exercise. Number one, you do not want to touch the dumbbells together at the top because that's going to take tension off your chest, put it on your elbows. Another thing that you don't want to do is you do not want to speed through this workout. The whole point is to stretch out your chest. Okay, so at the bottom of each rep, you want to go all the way down until you feel a sharp stretch from where your chest inserts to your delts, clear across your entire chest. So you want to do a quick pause and then explode up. What you need to do while you're doing this workout is imagine there's a barrel on your chest and you're keeping your arms around that barrel the whole time, squeezing your chest the entire time. A typical set should pretty much last you about 45 seconds to a minute. The entire time you're focusing on that squeeze and really stretching out your chest. This exercise is the best about stretching out your whole chest. So you guys gotta take advantage of that. So in this video, I'm gonna have a couple videos of me doing flies. I'm also gonna show you guys an old video from me doing flies when I'm really using a lot of weight. So you can tell that I'm still keeping that shift form and uh, time under tension the entire time. All right, and the last tip that I have for you guys in this exercise is you wanna keep your hands parallel to the ceiling at all times. So you want the even distribution of weight on each side of, the, of your hand. So you're keeping a perfect, perfect time under tension of your chest. What's up guys? Uh, there's a couple things I wanted to reiterate and talk about on the dumbbell fly. I didn't get two hours in the gym. Um, I'm not too good at explaining things mid-workout, so I feel like that wasn't the best advice. But a couple things I want you guys to really em emphasize when you're doing the flies, like I said, is that pause at the bottom to really get that full stretch in your chest. And then you want to explode up but not touch the dumbbells together. Um, you know these these videos are called why you're doing them wrong and I kind of Forgot to really emphasize why you guys do them wrong, but just really remember that guys if uh, it, Whatever weight you usually do dumbbell flies with Go ahead and lower the weight and really focus on that stretch and literally while uh, stupid seatbelt alarm I should have my seatbelt on but okay, so um you want to be able to really use your chest the entire time. I mean, that sounds obvious, but think about that in your guys' head while you're doing the fly, is using your chest from corner to corner to bring the fly up because you have that barrel, that peripheral, bar blah, blah, blah. You have that proverbial barrel over your chest. So just remember that, guys. Um, don't power through the movement and try to time each rep. Each rep should take you about one Mississippi, two Mississippi, and then about three seconds top, somewhere in between that two to three second range. But so there you guys go, a little bit different than what my uh, why you're doing them wrong videos have been. But I hope that helps you guys. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. I got a lot of stuff coming, guys. Holla at your boy, and this is a Mike approved message. Lastly, I'm just getting back home from the gym, and I realized. Uh, I didn't talk about how I have my arms, so you can tell I'm not having my arms fully extended at all. That's something that a lot of people actually do that I see that's terrible for your elbows and you're also not going to be able to use enough weight to properly activate your chest. So do not keep your arms fully locked out while you're doing the fly. Uh, keep them at roughly about 90 degrees, maybe a little bit wider than 90 degrees if you can. Pay attention to my arms. Um, you know the angle of them and mirror that so sorry I know this is kind of filmed a little funky but I figured that's a big tip you guys need to uh, know so it's better to have that tip in here than not so now this is a mic approved message